How's it going, my friends? My name's Alpha Star, and welcome. I'm here chilling with my new best friend, Sammy the Pig. And together, we're preparing to go on a great journey to try and find somewhere to live. Now, the server has opened up recently to the new Minecraft 1.16 update with the new Nether. And there are some things which I want to do in this season that involve the Nether. However, to start off with, we need to build a base, and I have an idea for a really good mega base. Now, it means trying to find the perfect location, so I think I'm going to kind of head in one direction and see what I get to, and hopefully we're going to find the perfect place. What I need is somewhere close to the water, um, that isn't too close to sport. So, let's go and go for a journey, this way. It has been a long process to try and find somewhere to live. However, I think I have found the perfect place. It has a large ocean, there's a village somewhere over in the distance, and there's a pillager tower somewhere over there as well. So there's things to keep us busy for quite some time. And look at this place, this is absolutely beautiful. There are so many colours. I've never seen this many colours in Minecraft before. But first, we're going to have to find somewhere to live. Now, I have a vague idea of what I'm going to build for a quick starter house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a quick time lapse together and show you the, some of the stuff that I've collected and hopefully we'll have started a base. So, I'll see you guys very shortly. So there are a few things here which you didn't see on the time lapse. What I've done a little bit off camera was build this house and we haven't started this one yet. This will be the main one eventually and this is just kind of the storage area with a bit of a smelting area up here and somewhere for our enchantment table to go. But to get an enchantment table we need to have, surprisingly enough, diamonds. And we don't have any yet. We have absolutely nothing. So I think what we're going to have to do is actually go and get some diamonds. And we need to get more resources because at the moment, that's all I've got. And there's not much. So I think 
We're going to turn all of these into iron pickaxes. I think I have enough here to keep me going for a little bit. So if we spend the next hour or two just getting some resources, I think we'll be in for a good shot at getting up to date on our lack of diamonds. Let's get on with it. And again, let's go for another time lapse. Off we go. And that was only very slightly successful. I was hoping for a little bit more than that for about three hours, maybe two hours or so. But I have got 42 diamonds and that is an amazing start. So, a good successful mining trip. And I think we're going to make our first items. Now, I can get more obsidian. I'm going to use that obsidian to make a table. Going to need a couple more diamonds for the enchantment table. But I need to go and kill some cows and try and find some sugar cane. So, let's just see what we can find very quickly. Yep, yep. <laughs> I just walked all the way over to the village to find sugar cane and there is quite a bit of it just there. Right, I can't actually remember the recipe for an enchanting table as we put you in place. Huzzah! Now we just need more books and sugar cane. So that's it for today's episode, thank you so much for watching. We've had a quite a successful day, we've built a house, we've found where we're going to live, we've got diamonds, all we need to do now is finish off the next house and make another portal and kind of progress back to spawn. I know that sounds strange but we need to link our portal up to the tunnels and I think people have started to build the tunnels, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to have a look at that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, leave a like, leave a comment, press the bell so you know when the next episode is uploaded, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!